The topic for this session is Neural Search with Quadrant. Quadrant is a vector database and it powers the next generation of AI applications with advanced and high performant vector similarity search technology. So let's start with Quadrant and instead of explaining what is a vector database, we'll see it in action and from there we could understand how, how we can utilize it in our applications. So what we'll do is that we'll first pull Quadrant. So I have here already pulled Quadrant. So how you pull Quadrant, it's a Docker image. So you can just type this in and it should pull it for you. So since I have already pulled it, so naturally there is uh, no need of pulling it again. So it has not pulled it. But for you, it will pull it. It's a small image. It's around 140 MB in size. So it should not be a problem in pulling it in a very short period of time. Then what you do is that you run the quadrant image and you do it in this manner. And it, it is running and it is in progress. After that, what you do is create a collection in Quadrant. We'll see of how we'll create a collection in Quadrant. So what we do is that we'll create a Quadrant collection. And how do we do it is something like this. So let me get this red. So you create a collection name. And then there is something called a dimension. So in our previous lecture, if you have not seen, please do visit it and see. There is a concept of word embeddings and these word embeddings have a dimension. So you could create a, a collection with a certain dimension. We will be using Azure OpenAI in this case. So the dimension would be around 1536. And what we will do is create this collection out here. So the collection name in this case would be Azure OpenAI Things and here we'll create a collection using the recreate collection um, thing. And it has a collection name, it has a vectors config in which, which has a dimension or size and a distance which is a cosine distance. All the code will be checked into GitHub and you can see that in action. Once the collection is created, we'll insert data into Quadrant. And as we have said, what we'll do is that we'll download a file, which is a startupsdemo.json. And it is a huge file and it contains data on startups. So since it's a huge file, it will take some time to open. But nevertheless, um, what we'll do is that we'll push the data here. So how you do it is first you get the data and the data is in this URL. You do a wget and you get this URL. And you get this uh, JSON file here. And then what you do is that uh, the collection which we have used to create is the startups OpenAI embeddings. And let me see if it has already opened. So this is like like the thing and it has got all these things out here. So the metric name is cosine and from where there what we do is that we read the JSON file and it has all these uh, data and we can see the columns here. It's name images or description link city. And um, so these are the descriptions. These are the alternative names. And then what we do is that we create the uh, lines, the embeddings, and for that we'll create the uh, lines which make up, which will make up the embeddings. Here we have taken for every row the description and the alt, and um, we are we are making this, and we'll have a payload also. So so each row in the vector database would have a payload, which is kind of the metadata and then it will have the embeddings. So what we are doing here is that we are getting around 500 uh, rows of this JSON. And then what we do is that we do a get embeddings of Azure OpenAI, which, which means is that we are creating the embeddings. So in the previous lecture, we have explained of how you can create these Azure OpenAI embeddings. And we are embedding it and, um, and we are creating the embeddings and we are 
putting it in this embeddings uh, list. So the dimension is 1536. You see it is being repeated. And then what we do is that we upload this, the vectors, which is the embeddings all, uh, all the vectors and the payload. And then we are batching it with 256. So all this is uploaded and everything is in the database. The get uh, Azure embeddings, if I go to definition, So this, this is the thing. This has the deployment of the Azure OpenAI and here we are generating the embeddings, OpenAI embeddings. So now the data is there in the uh, vector database. Now what we can do is do a neural search. So let's see of how we do a neural search. Go into this uh, notebook. Uh, all this code will be checked into GitHub and I will share the GitHub link with you. So here is the same drill. We are connecting to the collection, which is the startups OpenAI embeddings. And you, you can create this collection by this, right? And we have inserted the data here in the startups OpenAI embeddings. A question that we are asking is that uh, we, are, we are asking, where do I find the startups with YouTube marketing? We are creating a vector embedding uh, for this question. So that returns a vector of 1536. Then we are connecting it and then we are doing a search result with a collection name the vector and with no query filters and the limit is 10. And then we are asking the search results. And now you can see the search results coming in. We have got only 10 search results here and uh, it will be the 10 closest results would be here. I have said 10, it should be 10 here. 10 closest results would be here. And you can see the results which are coming in. And uh, now what you can do is that you can do a metadata search also. And the filter which we have used is Chicago. And now we can use the city of interest. We can do a metadata search. And here in the query filter, we can do a city filter and there Similarly, you can get uh, all the results, which is the uh, of the YouTube marketing with city as uh, Chicago. So in short, what we have done is that we have downloaded Quadrant, a vector database. We have run the Quadrant database. We have inserted data into the Quadrant database. And now we performed a search with the help of um, vector search with embeddings. So this completes our video on Quadrant and Vector Databases. Hope you get a feeling of how we are utilizing Vector Databases to get search. It is not like a standard search in which we are, we are using vector embeddings for searching because you see here what we are doing. This is very important in this case that you, you can see here that we are not passing in the question as such. We are passing in the embeddings for searching and that means it is doing something called a semantic search. That means it is not a keyword search. But on, couple, but on top of this, what we are doing is that you can do a vector search coupled with a metadata filtering. Here we are doing a city filter here and that's what it is happening. Hope you liked it. Bye.